Hello and welcome to another practice with yoga on the road. Today's theme is around tight muscles. We're all prone to tight muscles through a change in activity, through trying something new. You know that saying we have when we say, oh God, I'm feeling muscles that I've never felt before. So my idea of moving through tight muscles is instead of stretching them out and holding a pose for longer is just to add this gentle element of flow and moments to stop and reflect and be aware of the sensations you feel. So today's practice is really a gentle flow with an invitation to move gently through different areas of your body to stop and take some time to notice what you notice. So get yourself ready for practice this morning. It's a short practice. You will need some blocks. Grab them for yourself and I'll meet you right here on the mat on your hands and your knees. Start by positioning your knees just below the line of your hips your hands are just in front of the line of your shoulders and about a shoulder distance apart. As you breathe in, dip the belly down towards the mat, draw the shoulders back, look slightly forward. And as you breathe out, start to contract the belly muscles as you open and expand through the spine, broadening through the shoulders. Breathe in. Slowly flow forward, opening the front of your body. Breathe out, slowly flow back, opening the back of your body, drawing the belly muscles up. Breathe in, move through three more with me. Nice, full, deep breath. Slow down to observe any sensations that you notice. Are you moving through tight muscles that run down either side of your spine? Are you moving through tight muscles, your arms and shoulders? Use this time just to feel into each little component of this movement. One more breath cycle here. Breathe out round through the spine and at the end of your next exhale let's all meet back at a neutral spine and then slowly start to get rhythmic and a little bit free in your movement so create this kind of circular motion through the spine through the hips making it as fluid as you can using your breath to support that movement. This is the beauty of being at home. You don't have to worry about how it looks, whether it looks right or wrong. You just want to create a feeling of openness, of free flowing movement, of an opportunity to allow you to feel and just to notice what it is you notice about your body. And the last one, and make it a really, really slow movement, slowing it all the way down. Meeting back at that neutral spine, tuck your toes under, and shift your weight all the way back. So sit bones lift up towards the ceiling. It's our first downward dog. So remembering to keep the knees deeply bent to support any tight muscles in the back of the legs. And we're just gonna add a bit of free flowing movement here. So as you inhale, roll the body like a wave all the way forward so the shoulders reach out over the wrists. As you exhale, Push all the way back, downward facing dog. Head rests gently between the upper arms. Next, inhale, roll all the way forward, shoulders shifting out over the wrists. Exhale, push all the way back, downward facing dog. 
Stay here with me if at any stage you need to take a rest, then take a rest and join back in. You might like to come to child's pose or just rest in downward facing dog. Last one, pushing back to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in as you breathe in. Look forward between your hands as you breathe out. Take a big step forward or little steps forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Big breath out, forward fold. Press down into the feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Take a full body stretch. And in that full body stretch position, reach for your left wrist. And open the left side of your waist by leaning towards the right. And with breath, you can just gently move in and out of this side bend. You can change the orientation slightly by drawing your chest down towards the mat. Coming back to centre and even opening the chest up a little towards the ceiling. Feeling all those little spaces in between the ribs here. Inhale, lift all the way up. We're changing sides, so grab the opposite wrist now. Bow towards your left. And again, just find the right degree of movement here for you. Again, you might dip the chest down towards the ground, rolling the shoulders, and then opening up and lifting all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach into that full body stretch, stretching through the fingertips. Exhale, fold forward. If you have blocks with you, you can employ the use of your blocks now, so just bring them into your mat on the medium level. If you don't have blocks, you can always use your own body to support you. So as you breathe in, halfway lift. As you breathe out, soften through the knees, fold forward. Take just a moment here to notice the muscles that you're holding tension in. And then really start to use your breath to help you soften those areas. Really start to use gentle movement. And then breathe in halfway lift. Big breath out, forward fold. Bend your knees deeply. <clears throat> Rock your weight back into your heels and inhale, lift all the way up, chair pose. Exhale, sink a little deeper into that pose. And then inhale, reach, full body stretch. Exhale, hands to heart. Return the hands to centre, palms face forward. Inhale, reach all the way up. We're moving through a flow now. Exhale, soften the knees, fold forward. Hands to the block or to your body. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Press down into the feet, rise all the way up. Full body stretch. Exhale, return to centre, hands to heart, hands face the front. Inhale, reach all the way up. Full breath in, open and expand, exhale, forward fold. Just take the blocks off the mat for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, step or walk all the way back to plank. Plank might look like this full variation, shoulders stacked over wrists, long line of the body, or plank can also look like this, a dipping of the knees. Shoulders are still Stacked over the wrists. As you inhale, push into that shoulder area, the crown of your head reaching forward. 
And then as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale here, create a full belly breath. So feel the belly expanding towards the mat. Exhale here, soften and release. And then on your next inhale, press the feet firmly into the mat, lift your kneecaps up and lift the chest, tuck the chin in towards the collarbones. Hold here for two cycles of breath. Inhale, options to push back to all fours here. If you're after a little bit more strength element, push back to this modified variation of plank. Inhale here. Exhale, you might extend the legs. If you're in that tabletop position, you're going to tuck your toes and push all the way back to downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Noticing whether you have a little more openness now in the back of the legs to extend the legs a little and to work the heels down towards the ground. We're taking one more breath here. Inhale, look forward between the hands. Exhale, big step forward, little steps forward or jump towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lift all the way up, sitting back in that chair of yours, reach the fingers towards the ceiling. Exhale, dip a little lower, or even just some gentle up and down movement. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart, reset. Last one, inhale, reach all the way up, realizing that you're getting a Full body workout here. Exhale, forward fold. Dip the knees generously. Hands can either come to your blocks or to the floor. In this forward fold here, you might like to gently rock the weight forward. Taking time to notice how engagement in different parts of your body switches on and off. Rock the weight back. Maybe roll in a circular motion around the feet in one direction. Roll in the opposite direction. Before a nice deep breath, inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the block or hands to your shins. Exhale, step, walk or jump back to this plank position, remembering your variation of, so it could be this full variation or modified lowering the knees to the ground. As you inhale, create space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra. So press the feet firmly into the mat. Stay here or extend the arms down along the side. Press the palms up towards the ceiling. Wherever you've met yourself, take three breaths. Allow the breath to keep moving you. you've extended your arms, bring the hands back to frame your lower ribs. On your next inhale, lift back to all fours, take your knees as wide as is comfortable for you, bring your toes together and gently press your weight back so that your sit bones move back towards your heels. Make any accommodations for your body to meet your comfort level. Use this opportunity, this restorative pose, to sit in stillness 
and just notice what you notice about your body. And this is a practice of non-judgment. So noticing the feels without labeling them as a good feeling or a bad feeling. Take another four breaths here. Press yourself all the way back up. Shift your weight to the side so that you can extend your legs all the way out in front of you. We're going to finish the practice with a nice, slow, somatic type movement before I invite you to come into Shavasana or Yogi Rest. So make sure your space is free of distractions. Take a reclined position, <clears throat> move and adjust and accommodate your body so that you can ensure you're free of any distractions. And then draw the feet towards the ground so that they're as wide as your hips. As you take a breath in, excuse me, <clears throat> as you take a breath in, I invite you to fill your lower belly as comfortably and full as you can without any strain. And then as you exhale, flatten your lower spine towards the ground. And as soon as you do that, you might notice the deep belly or core muscles switch on. I'm just going to get you to hold that for five to six seconds, keeping your breath normal. You should feel some subtle or maybe stronger engagement in that area. As I ask you to release, release as slowly as you can. So that will feel like your back moving away from the ground. It will feel like ungrouping of different areas of your body, maybe even in your glutes, in your belly, in your back muscles. Let everything return to a very neutral position. And then when you've returned, take a natural breath cycle again. And we'll repeat that twice more. Breathe deeply into your belly, creating a full and comfortable expansion of your belly. This is a belly or diaphragmatic breath. As you exhale, press or flatten your spine down towards the ground. You might naturally feel your belly start to hollow or a feeling of the belly hollowing. Again, hold here for five to six seconds with a normal breath or normal breaths. And then challenge yourself to move away and out of this pose as slowly as you can. making the movement so small to give you the opportunity to notice how each little part of moving out of this causes a train of events in your body. Take a natural breath cycle when you return and moving through one last one together. Breathe in. Full rounded belly breath. Breathe out, press the spine to the floor. Have a feeling of the core engaging in that action. Take five to six normal breaths while you're holding this engagement. And 
then again with your natural breath you're going to release as slowly as you can extend your legs along the floor ensure your hands are out alongside you a distance from your body let your feet drop out to the side Reposition your shoulders, reposition your hips and allow yourself this moment to settle in. Feel the weight of your body pressing into the mat. Feel the support of the ground below you. And use this moment right here to integrate all the movement that you've just taken your body through during this practice. Anchor your awareness to just noticing different sensations, the movement of sensation, any softness that you're aware of, any area that you're still gripping or hanging on to any muscular tension. And then invite your breath into this practice. as you continue to scan and as you come across different feelings in your body, use your breath to soften, to settle, to bring you back to this moment of practice. This in itself is a nice practice to practice on its own on a regular basis. Just stopping long enough to pay attention to the way your body is feeling, what you are noticing. This builds your body's self-awareness and your ability to be able to regulate and connect all these signals with your own emotional state. Start to add some gentle movement to your fingers, to your toes, to your wrists and to your ankles. And if you feel to add a nice full body stretch, stretching arms out overhead, Pressing out through the feet in the opposite direction, you might like to hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll off to one side. I'm taking a few moments here. And then use your arm to support you all the way back to a nice, comfortable, seated position for you. If you feel okay with this, join your hands to your heart. Turn your gaze towards your heart and take a moment to acknowledge yourself. Take a moment to give thanks to yourself for taking the time to be here, to practice move and if you'd like to let's seal this practice with the chanting of one on take a deep breath in through your nose take an audible exhale out through your mouth breathing for on
beings everywhere, be happy, be safe and be free. From my heart to your hearts, namaste. Thank you once again for joining me. If you liked this practice, please click like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. You've joined Anita from Yoga on the Road.